Welcome to Beyond L&D, presented by NorthPass. I'm your host, Peter, and today I'm joined by Holly Whited, the Director of Operations at Glam Squad. Thanks for joining us today, Holly. Absolutely, happy to be here. So to get started, can you tell me a little bit about you and a little bit more about Glam Squad? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm the Director of Operations at Glam Squad, um, and Glam Squad is a um, on-demand beauty services company. We provide hair, makeup, and nails on demand. You can book us through the app and web. You look beautiful, however, you know, if you needed a little hair touch-up, a little makeup touch-up, we could do that for you. Oh yeah, I think I could always <laughs> use that. <laughs> can, we all can. Yeah, right. Can you tell me a little bit how you got involved in learning and development specifically? Yeah, absolutely. So the portion of the business that I over see uh, really is our beauty professional facing side um, and so as we bring on beauty professionals we bring on contractors we only take about one in six so we actually go through a pretty heavy vetting process for our pros and then once they're on the network we really our, our mission and our goal is to set them up with the tools to succeed on the network um, and then also in their personal kind of business and lives so we're growing and expanding and scaling um, you know the pieces of our onboarding process one being of course technical and making sure that our beauty professionals are inspired and that they're the best in the business in their respective hair, makeup, and nail fields. But then the other, there's a heavy protocol portion and kind of grounding of the business and who Glam Squad is and the um, experience that we deliver to our clients. And so um, the learning and development space really grew pretty quickly in Glam Squad and, and the need for something like North Pass to really support, to use technology and to use a, a digital vehicle um, so that when we are in person and we are, um, you know, that human touch is even that much more meaningful and valuable. Yeah, and that's really great that your mission is really to provide those contractors the yeah. tools and resources that they need to be successful. You guys are such a big brand and growing. How do you sort of use online learning mm -hmm. as a tool to reinforce your brand and sort of yeah. your culture and these contractors that you're bringing in? When our uh, beauty professionals come um, onto the network, um, we, we set up kind of a series of courses for them. And the courses are really there to empower them and to make sure that they are grounded. We really aim not to train but to inspire our pros and we think that we're who Glam Squad is is inspirational as well and so we really give them um, a, a good background and a good grounding they are professionals they have an average of six to eight years plus in the industry in the hair makeup and nail industry so giving them those tools to make their connections with their clients even that much more valuable and meaningful um, we do in person um, and then we also get to reinforce by way of the, the digital courses as well yeah and when you provide these contractors with all these tools, what do you sort of look for to see what you're doing, to see if it's working or not, and yeah. to see if it's effective and kind of seeing what you can yeah. always be doing to improve? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, we we look at kind of how quickly the pros are completing things um, because they really are on their own timeline, right? So we look to make sure that it's engaging enough, that they are completing it in a timely manner, but mm -hmm. then also that it is being effective and that when they come onto the network, work. Um, you can always tell somebody who has not really dug into the coursework because they have questions that really were answered pretty solidly in our learning content. So the, the content should be um, really supporting and making sure that they're ready once they come onto the network. So when you sort of see that someone might not have gotten the resources they mm -hmm. need, maybe they didn't take mm -hmm. all the onboarding resources they mm -hmm. were given, how do you sort of combat that and make sure that they get the essential learning that they need? Yeah, so um, we actually are able to provide our uh, beauty professionals um, the digital content on an ongoing basis. So whether they completed it, whether they didn't complete it, we can always kind of drive them back there as a resource. So if they are you know, asking questions, if they're inquiring about something, that, and, and we can actually go back and verify that they haven't completed something, we can always give it to them as a, as a next step to kind of educate themselves. Yeah, and in that, it, it's always important to have analytics when you're kind of measuring your onboarding and you're seeing what's working and what's missing. Mm -hmm. um, how are analytics and data so important yeah. to what you do at Glam Squad? Yeah, um, just to go back to kind of Glam Squad as a brand and who we are, um, you know, we are unique in that we are using technology, we are using an app. Um, to connect you with another human being. Um, we are using data um, in order to make sure that the person we're matching you with is your perfect match.
match. It really is a, is a through line and tracks all the way back to the way that we onboard because we have regional experts, we have our kind of masters in the craft in the field who their, their goal, their job is to inspire incoming beauty professionals. And so we use technology through you know digital learning and, and North Pass to really make sure that that human touch um, and that the time of our of our masters um, is really used in the best way possible that they don't get bogged down by having to go through protocol um, that anything kind of brand and foundational is a second hit because they've already had it through North Pass and then they're really able to focus on um, technical kind of inspiration and tips and tricks and sharing best practices and Almost all of them are former freelancers, and so really sharing, um, you know, on a person-to-person -person pro basis, um, how they can best succeed. Again, not only with Glam Squad, but also just in their in their freelance careers. So we've touched a lot on onboarding. We've mm -hmm. touched a lot on brand, uh, mm -hmm. which are both really important to what you do. But what's your ultimate goal when you're doing all these things? At Glam Squad, we believe that human touch is is really at the heart and the core of of what makes people feel special. Um, so that's what we set out to do. And we think that there's a strong correlation between the way that you look and the way that you feel. So our pros go into every experience and every appointment, not just to give somebody a beautiful blowout or a great smoky eye, which is also fabulous, but um, really to transform the way that the client feels. And, and we believe that we can actually change lives in a small way that way. Um, and it, it really transfers over to the way we look at our beauty professionals as, as well. Um, when Glam Squad came into the industry, we not only kind of shook up the way that people saw getting ready, we also shook up the freelance industry. It was very difficult to exist as a pro in the past um, without being at a salon or being at a beauty counter. So we were able to kind of strip down a lot of the um, a lot of the kind of selling and goals and um, the pieces of the job that that, that craftsmen and um, artists find difficult to, to kind of deal with and say, hey, come in and give clients beautiful experiences and we're going to take care of the rest. So we really want to make sure that our beauty professionals also feel empowered. So giving them the tools, again, you know, through digital learning to exist on the network and to thrive on the network, but also to thrive in their personal careers. So using the digital to provide them with um, webinars and to provide them with online learning um, to for things like taxes and healthcare and things that are really scary as a, as a, um, as a freelance Lancer. We give them access to pathways to grow that side of their personal business as well. Yeah, and that's really unique that your company sort of thinks about um, using the platform to make people feel good. That's yeah. not something you normally yeah. hear. So uh, yeah. working for a company like that, that, that has to be really empowering. Yeah, it's it's very cool. There are a lot of apps out there, even beauty apps, um, that their their goal is to actually try and give you the touch of a pro without having a human there. And we're doing we're kind of doing the opposite. Um, and the beauty industry in general is is so saturated right now between social media and, and Instagram and just all of the resources available, YouTube. I think that clients and pros they're looking for kind of who to trust um, and. Uh, going back to the way that you look and the way that you feel. It's very fragile and it's very kind of, it's very vulnerable. And so we want to give um, women, we want to give our clients um, really that um, trust and confidence there. And then we want to do the same thing for our beauty professional community as well and create really a community. You know, we take co communication and we take learning and we are looking to take that and turn it into a community of professionals and of artists. Yeah. And you have such a unique background, like in this beauty industry that, like you said, is so saturated and can be so empowering at times, but can also be yeah. really difficult. Yeah. Um, kind of coming up on that and learning about, um, contract or onboarding and mm -hmm. online learning on mm -hmm. the way, what what advice would you give to someone just getting started out in the field or maybe even yeah. like a younger version of yourself? Yeah, I mean, if, if I had known <laughs> a few years ago, um, really, really focusing on the why, um, giving people tools for the how, but letting them develop their own how and letting them develop their own kind of execution, um, giving them guidance, but really letting, you know, teaching them how to walk into an appointment and giving them tools for immediately assessing and understanding who your client is and what they need, but 
also that that's gonna look different for every client. Some clients want you to, um, they want a therapist and they want you to, they wanna talk about their lives and they want you to talk and they give you a glass of wine and it's great. And then others just, they're, you know, they're busy and their heads are down and it's, it's not, you know, it's not any sort of disrespect. It's just, they're, they're busy and, and they are trying to kind of combine pieces of their lives and being able to immediately kind of assess what it is that your client wants and needs as opposed to here's a script now go follow it. That is that is very, very difficult to teach and it doesn't come off as authentic and genuine and we always want our pros to find an authentic and a genuine connection with the client. Well, Holly, thanks for taking the time to give us a peek into your unique world and for sharing some insights with us. Absolutely, my pleasure. It's been great being here today. Mm-hmm.